All right, guys. Welcome to the uh, weekly EMC Fundamentals. Uh, this is Danny. Uh, welcome to the Monday session we have planned for you guys today. Um, welcome all of you guys for joining us here for the first time. Welcome to the EMC family. Today, we're going to cover our weekly EMC Fundamentals, where we're going to go through various aspects of our platform and available resources. Today is actually uh, session number one, where we're going to go through just general um, overview of your setup, kind of get you familiarized with EMC and everything that we have to offer as far as resources and trainings. As always, these sessions are always recorded and will be uploaded into our uh, platform. So with that, I want to begin with sharing uh, the most important or one of the most important resources that you're going to be able to use along your journey here with eMortgage Capital, and that's going to be our website. So you will always want to refer to the EMC way where you can find the majority of the answers to most of your questions um, to get you up and running here at eMortgage Capital. So that is the emcway.com where you can join us and uh, find out about the great things we have to offer here at eMortgage Capital. The first thing you want to get familiarized with us here at eMortgage Capital is your support. If you has, have any questions, any concerns, you want to learn about additional features or how can I uh, connect with IT, etc. You want to go ahead and take advantage of our LO support uh, section here. Uh, we have a full team here ready to help you guys along the way. So if you have any questions, reach out to LO support via the um, button there at the emcway.com, uh, or you can always reach out to us via email. That is LO support at emortgagecapital.com. When you submit your request to LO Support, we do have a whole team here ready uh, to help you guys. And when you submit those requests, they will go to our queue. So we do have a queue where all of your requests come in. They are answered live as we um, go through that process. So when you submit a request, they all come in live. That's the best way to get a hold of us. It's not just me. We have a whole team that will help you with any question that you have. So the first thing that you want to get acclimated here in Morris Capital is the EMC way. Second thing is how to reach out to us for any type of support. You can do so via the app or not the app, the button there at LO support, or you can send us an email to LO support at emortgagecapital.com. So that's the first thing you uh, want to get acclimated here at eMortgage Capital when it comes to getting set up. Now, uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to make sure that you're also familiarized with is our, in our site, and that deals with some of our tabs here. Um, you want to get acclimated with our company calendar. Uh, management is very big on ensuring that all of our LOs have access to as many resources as possible, that being the uh, daily sessions we have throughout the week. So you want to get familiarized with the event calendar where we have various aspects of our platform available throughout the week. Um, as you can see here, Mondays, we go through uh, general onboarding with the weekly EMC fundamentals. I cover various aspects of our platform from general onboarding, that's what we're doing right now, to marketing, uh, processing. Uh, we deal with funding and requesting compensation. So you want to get familiarized with the weekly EMC fundamentals, which take place every week at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, we have... Uh, Wednesday, we have our partner spotlight. That's where you can take the opportunity to learn about the different products that we have available as far as lenders are concerned uh, through our broker channel. So you want to connect to that if you want to explore other um, opportunities or other options that are available in order for you to learn about these uh, wonderful products that other lenders are offering. So that takes place every Wednesday at um, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard, and you'll be able to access this great information. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays deal with marketing. So if you'd like to explore some of our additional resources when it comes to marketing, CRMs, uh, lead um, nurturing systems like Go High Level Bonzo, uh, Property Radar, you can explore those options on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, we do have a special session on Thursdays dealing with a lending pad, which I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Um, lending pad is a required LOS, but we do have training live training every thursday at uh, 12 pacific standard so you want to go ahead and connect to that so first thing is get familiarized with the emc way 
Second thing, connect with our LO support team so we can help you every step of the way. Third, get familiarized with our company calendar so that you do not miss any sessions. Usually there'll be an invite that goes out right when the meeting starts, or you can click on each of the events and you'll see the direct Zoom link when you join in. So as you start your journey with EMC, you want to get familiarized with these resources because that's what's going to help you expedite the process when it comes to getting up and running with EMC. So if you're new with us and you have a couple licenses, the first step that uh, we have to wait for is your sponsorship. So when you um, join EMC, you'll notice that uh, in consumer access, it could take some time depending on the state. It will be up to the regulator. If you receive any notifications from the NMLS, feel free to forward them to us, to LO Support at Emory's Capital, so that we can um, help you understand what they're trying to say. I mean, most of us, I don't speak NMLS, um, but we have someone here in the team that can help you understand that renewals are coming up, as most of you guys are aware. If you have any questions about renewals or perhaps thinking about adding additional states, um, we can connect you with one of my team members who can guide you and collaborate with you as far as licensing is concerned. So take advantage of that resource through LO support. So that's the first thing you want to get acclimated. The other thing uh, most of us will want to get up and running right away is your email address or your email signature. And um, the action steps, so when you first onboard it, you would have received a welcoming email as well as um, something called the action steps. It's actually a PDF, which I'm sharing here in the screen. Uh, most of you guys would have received this through the email attachment. I would have sent it to you. I um, mean, one way or another, you want to be able to have access to this. And this will give you the step-by-step -step instructions as to what you need to do to get up and running with your business. If you're part of a team, you always want to circle back with your team manager, uh, partner, mentor in regards to your internal setup. If you're running solo or new with EMC, all of you should have already had or scheduled your onboarding consultation with me. Um, which I will go through this information in greater detail. So if you have not scheduled your onboarding consultation with me, reach out to L Support, and I'll be happy to schedule time with you. If you're part of a team, connect with your manager to get you up and running. So going back to the email, before we set up your email, there's a couple of things you want to get um, up and running. And that, once again, if you go into the action steps, they'll tell you. But I want to make sure I convey this. The first thing you want to get set up is something called a document guardian. Document guardian is a secured um, document upload link. This is not required, but it's highly encouraged. And I'm going to talk to you in a minute why you need this. Let's say you're talking to somebody over the phone or you engage with somebody who's not ready um, or willing or able to uh, create an account, upload docs into your LOS. They just want to be able to email you their documentation. However, with things taking place with security uh, breaches, et cetera, they may be concerned. So that's where Document Guardian comes in. You want to set up Document Guardian because that will enable any applicant to click on your signature link and be able to upload any uh, docs that uh, you want to upload. So I'm actually opening my live email signature for you all so you can see it. And if you see here, um, I have a couple sections in my email. The first thing is, um, well, you'll see here, um, submit a request to LO Support. We want to make sure you're taken care of. But what I want to show you is my application link. So if you click on my application link here, um, it'll take me to my LOS, which is going to, I'm going to talk to you about that as well. Um, if you uh, click on my application link, Next to it, you'll see the document upload. This is what I'm talking about. This is a secure document upload called Document Guardian, and each of you guys are encouraged to get set up. Once again, um, it's not uh, you know mandatory. However, you will come across times where clients may not want to you know you know go through the process of creating an application. They may just want to send you stuff in a secured fashion. This is how you do it. It's basically a link that they'll be able to email you, attach the docs, and it comes in a secure way. The question comes, well, how do I set that up? Well, very simple. If you uh, follow the instructions here and the action steps, it's step number four. And it says to get this set up, all you have to do is email support 
at myabt.com, and that's it. So, hey, I'm Danny with eMortgage Capital. Please set me up with my document guardian account. Done. And then they're really quick, so maybe about like maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most, maybe half an hour, you'll receive an email that says, hey, congratulations, here's your credentials. When you log in, you're going to be able to have access to all this, which I'll share with you in a minute. But in today's session, I just want to walk you through the action steps, which is this list that will enable you to get the essentials up and running so that you can start generating your business or your loan. So document guardian, you want to get that set up. You also want to get set up Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to come back to the same during a minute, but I'm going through this process to um, get you up and running with it. So Microsoft Teams is something that is very, very uh, valuable to you guys. If you guys are not using Microsoft Teams, is this. This is how we communicate a lot of the times within um, the EMC community. So Microsoft Teams, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to a lot of people in the organization, but your um, benefit or your goal or uh, the value to you to create Microsoft a Microsoft Teams account has to do with this um, channel. So in Microsoft Teams, we have Teams or sale or different channels as we call them. One of them is our sales channel. This sales channel is where you can collaborate with other LOs through the EMC. Um, community. Perhaps you like to get a reference for a particular lender. Perhaps you have, um, um, you know, a scenario you'd like to collaborate with somebody else. Um, you can put your uh, scenario there. You can collaborate with other LOs, and that's how you're going to stay uh, in touch with others. One of the ways you can do so. So if you don't have Microsoft Teams uh, installed on your phone or on your computer. I would encourage you to do so. Um, now, if you're having issues with how to install that, because most computers come with Microsoft Teams already built in there if you have Microsoft Office. However, you're going to need the uh, business um, you know, application. So if you have um, an existing Teams installed in your computer, you may need to reach out to our IT department to help you because in, you need to install the business it's, I mean, it's, it's not that complicated. If you go, if you just Google Microsoft uh, Teams installation, you can find it there. Um, and when you go here, you should be able to uh, navigate to the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Download Microsoft Teams. Okay, that's not the one we want. There's going to be a business one. Let's see here. Business, business. You see, this is why we have um, IT, because it used to be in the bottom right, <clears throat> the business one. It looks like they moved it. So um, let's see here. Oh, here it is. Download Teams. Let me go back. <clears throat> and it should give you various options. Uh, we'll make it simple. Just email IT and they will help you because they have the direct link. Keep it simple. Because they updated their page. It used to be like you have to pick the business one. If you click this one, it's actually the one for uh, personal use. So when you log in with your uh, credentials, it's not going to work because it's going to say that you're um, using your personal account. So when you get to the installation of Microsoft Teams, just email our IT department and they will help you, which actually brings me to my next point. We also have a, an IT department here for you guys. If you guys run across any IT-related issues, as I am doing myself, just reach out to IT at emortgagecapital.com and they will support you. We have them available Monday through Friday um, and they'll help you any, with anything that you need as far as IT-related issues. But Going back to Microsoft Teams, you want to install Microsoft Teams so that you can get access to this sales uh, channel where you're going to be able to collaborate with other LOs for anything. So that's the other resource that you want to get up and running. Now, when it comes to your LOS, everyone at EMC is required to get set up with LendingPad. 
LennyPad is our required LOS. It's web-based. You don't have to worry about installing anything on your computer. It works just like a charm. Um, when you um, set up your lending pad account, um, or first of all, let me go back. If you don't have a lending pad account and you um, need to get set up, just send an email to LO support at eMortis Capital and say, hey, I don't have my lending pad account set up. Please help me. And it will get our systems trainer, Nicole, who will create an account or activate your account for you. It does require a monthly investment of $69.99 per month. Um, so just make a note of that. We do have to have that account set up for any payout on any file. So once you set up your lending pad account, you're going to need your uh, point of sale link or I'll keep you simple, your application link. So that's something that you guys are all going to need right away, which is your application link. So there's two links that you're going to need um, at the beginning. The first link you're going to need is your application link. And don't worry about where do you find the link because we have lending pad training that will help you. But just as an onboarding, you're going to need the document guardian link, which I mentioned earlier, which is you send an email and they'll give you the access to that. Second link you're going to need is this one. This is your application link. So when you set up your lending pad account, you're going to go to your upper right. You're going to click on profile, edit profile, and here is where you're going to see the link. As you can see here, it says POS, POS, and that's the application link. So now we have two links. When you have this link, I'm going to put incognito mode so that you guys can see what it actually looks like. And here you are. This is going to be your application link at the bottom left. You will have this there. So why do I share this or why do I, um, uh, you know, bring it to your attention? Because you're going to need these two links at the beginning of your setup to um, log in to your uh, or create your email signature. Okay, so let me see here. Maybe I can put this all for you guys so you can see it all at once. So here we go. Okay, so two things are going to take place. The first thing is you want to make sure you start creating your email signature. So remember, you're going to set up your lending pad. You're going to get this link. Then you're going to save your document guardian. You're going to set that link. And now you're going to create your email signature. There's a link that you're going to follow to get to this page. And once again, if you're stuck, reach out to IT and they will help you. It's very simple. All you have to do is just go down this action steps PDF, which all of you guys should have, and just go down the list. I just bring it as a side commercial, um, not to overwhelm you with a lot. Just go down the list. Consultation with Danny or your manager, done. Licensing, done. Create a signature. Click this button there. When you click that button there, it's going to take you to this site. It's right there, right? So my step three, signature, click the button. It takes you there. Document Guardian, send the email. Microsoft Teams, etc. okay? So when you're hearing your email signature, it's very user-friendly. You just put your picture, you type in your name, and then here is the kicker. So... In the application section here, that's where you're going to put your lending pad link. And that's where you want to make sure you do have your application link um, set up. Because if you don't have your application link set up, by default, that link is going to go to corporate. And um, you want to make sure that your files do not go to corporate um, because then we have to chase them down. By chasing down, I mean that you're going to have to um, send us an email. We're going to have to reach out to our corporate processor. And then at that point, we want need to make sure that the file is assigned to you or given to you. And it gets kind of complicated. So if you set up your application link correctly, you should be good. So you're here. You're going to put your nice picture. And it's very simple. Like I said, I mean, IT can help you with this. But you guys know, IT is going to say, do you have your links? 
Do you have the, all the information? And we'll knock it out. If you don't have the information ready, then they're going to tell you reach back later when you have it. So that's why I'm telling you about the links that you want to get those set up because they're going to do it uh, relatively quick if you need help. So here's my pick. Boom. I upload it. Just move the little thing there and then apply. And you see now my picture's there. You're going to put in your name. All good. It's right there. And you see the preview on the, on the right. Uh, your title, etc., and MLS, phone number, etc., blah, blah, blah. Here's the application link. That's where you put your application link. So I just took my lending pad link. Here's my lending pad link. And that's where you're going to put your lending pad link in there under the section that says apply now link. Okay. So apply now link is what you want to put in there. Super, super important. So that your files don't go somewhere else. Application link right there. Document upload. Once again, you can leave it by default, but the default is going to go to the company. You don't want to do that. Okay. The second link you want to get set up is the uh, document guardian. Okay. So when you log in to document guardian, and once again, don't get uh, overwhelmed. I have we have instructions. We're going to get this set up for you. I just want to show you the flow. You want to have a signature set up correctly. When you log in to Document Guardian, now I logged in. It's beautiful. Everything's great. So now, where do I get that link? Well, there's a link here under Settings. Super important as a side little note, when you are first signing in for the first time to Document Guardian, it's going to ask you to send you um, like a two-factor authentication, like a number, make sure you put the one before your area code. If you do not put the one before the area code, you're going to be wa waiting for that code forever and ever. I'm telling you from experience because it took me a while to figure that out. So just put a one before the area code and you'll get the number, okay? When you go to your settings, you're going to get that link. It's under the personal document drop. Here's two links. Pick one. It doesn't matter which one. Just click on it. Now I go back to my signature, and that's where I put in my document guardian. So the application link is going to be your lending pad. And I'll keep it simple. Hey, I'm trying to set up my signature. What do I need? My lending pad application link. Next thing is my document upload. I need the document guardian. How do I get that if I forgot? LO support, and we'll guide you. Next thing is reviews link. If you have your own paid reviews link, like BirdEye or one of those uh, things, you can put your link in there. If you don't, it's okay. It defaults to the company reviews, so you're going to look great. You got all the five-star reviews from the company. But if you have your paid um, ref uh, reviews link, just enter it there. If not, don't worry about it. The, um, the next one is the referral link. The referral link, you always want to put your application link. Always put your application under the referral link. So both your app, your apply now. See, this is my apply now. That's going to be your lending pad uh, link. The document upload is going to be your document guardian. Your reviews is going to be defaulted, so don't worry about it. Your referral link. Referral link is going to be your lending pad link. So these two are going to be the same. Once you're done with that, you're pretty much set. All you're going to do is, I mean, you can add your Facebook, Instagram, all that fancy stuff. But if you're done, all you have to do is click copy signature, which is the, the uh, important part. Because oftentimes we're like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work it's because you're not copying. You're not clicking on the copy. When you click on the copy, it's at that point that you can um, go ahead and do your uh, or create your email signature as you would with any sort of uh, signature. And like I said, feel free to reach out. See, I just copied and pasted. There's my signature. Um, as I mentioned, just go ahead and reach out to our IT department at any point if you feel like you need some help. Um, we're here for you and ensure that this gets done correctly. Okay? So, rehab, kind of recap, lending pad, get that set up. If not, reach out to LO Support. Email signature, you're going to need two things, application link, document guardian. Fix that as soon as possible. We have certain LOs that forget to update their links. 
And then later on, clients start sending their applications to corporate, and we're trying to chase them down. So you don't want to do that. Um, the other thing is that deals with kind of um, part of integration is credit reports. So we know that we use um, Advantage Credit for our credit reporting. So you want to go ahead and get that set up with Advantage Credit, which is our vendor. And that actually is covered in step number seven of the actions plan. So here, if you have any questions about credit or that sort of stuff, you can reach out to uh, um, Advantage Credit Support via email or phone number. Call them. They're very helpful. They'll help you with anything that you'd like to know. Um, as far as prices, a lot of people are asking, what are their current prices? We do have a link right on the action steps under Advantage Credit Current Prices. If you click on there, a try merge uh, right now from what I see is $70. $70. But if you'd like to get a breakdown of every single fee, you can get that there under the Advantage Credit 2024 pricing for eMortgage Capital. And you can get that um, there for you if you need it under our action steps. Now, um, when it comes to credit, you can also set up something called a soft pool, right? You will reach out to Advantage Credit via CA support here or reach out to us and we'll forward the email. But basically, you can do it yourself. Just reach out to them and tell them, I need to get set up my soft pool account. They will watch, make you watch like a short little webinar and they will issue separate login credentials. You're going to need these separate login credentials to set up your lending pad so that when you run your credit, if you're going to run your um, credit using the soft pool, you need to be able to have those integrated in there. The other thing that they have is something called a smart pay link. So if you like to have the borrower invest in paying for their own credit report, which I highly, 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 highly encourage you to set this up. It's free. You don't have to use it, but it's uh, there. It's called Smart Pay. So it's very simple. You just reach out to Advantage Credit and say, hey, this is John with eMortgage Capital. Please set me up with my soft pool account and also my Smart Pay link. The Smart Pay link looks like this. I actually took somebody's link just for illustration purpose, and it's basically a link where you can forward it to a client, text it, email, whatever you want, incorporate as part of your uh, interactor email if you have one. And they will go ahead, they mean the client, will go in there, fill out the information, and they will enter their payment information um, to pay for their credit report. And also, they'll give you the written authorization. You want to do it this way. If you're going to have the borrower pay for their credit report, you do not want to take the borrower's credit card information over the phone. You don't want to, you know, just uh, pull it through. Um, the LOS and enter the credit card information, even if they're in front of you. I don't recommend that. Um, there's been times where the borrowers may dispute that and then it comes back to you. So the best way to do it is set up a smart pay link if you're having the applicant pay for the credit report and you simply just reach out to Advantage Credit or us and we'll help you uh, navigate the process of getting it set up. They do have uh, weekly trainings, which I encourage you to take um, or explore with Advantage, it's free. If you want to learn about uh, Wayfinder, what if simulators, if you're trying to think about how can I get people's credit score up, et cetera, et cetera, you can take these um, you know, free trainings and learn about that service and what they do and how you can better uh, support your clients when it comes to their credit. So take advantage of those uh, webinars. They're there in step number seven in the action steps, okay? So AUS, don't worry about your Fannie Freddie login credentials. There's no need for them. They're already integrated into LendyPad, which is beautiful. So you don't have to have your own credentials. They're already there. You should be able to run your LP, your DU in LendingPad. Um, the only thing that you will need is if you're running, if you're going to release LP findings to an investor, so I know that certain cases, certain lenders will say, hey, we're getting a referring eligible. If you get an approved eligible, just release your findings to us and we'll take them. So you can do that as a final submission in um, with Fannie through LendingPad. For LP, just reach out to us with the name of the lender. 
the name of the file, and we'll have um, our systems trainer release those findings to um, the lender for LP. But don't worry about the LP credentials, the US, um, AUS. They're all integrated in LendingPad, which is pretty neat. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys is about trainings with UWM. So you guys are very familiar with our investor, UWM. They're our partner. They um, primarily do all, not all, but they actually do all of our core files that we work with. So you want to get familiarized with some of their resources. Um, when you sign up with EMC, after your sponsorship has flipped over, you can take advantage of their training uh, there in person. So you can go to your Grow Your Business when you receive your credentials. You're going to go to Success Track. And when you're in Success Track, you're going to register to some of their tracks as they refer to it. Um, if you're new, just go and experience that. It's a good opportunity. They have very different uh, you know, types of classes for you guys. And even if you've worked with them in the past but are new to um, EMC, I encourage you to still sign up for these. We'll take care of your flights, your meals, your hotel stay just to go take it. There's a couple classes that I do recommend um, only at the beginning. That is the three-day wholesale mortgage basics. If you want to get familiarized with their system and platform, you want to take the three-day wholesale mortgage basics. Um, if you're seasoned or after that one, I would take the two-day experience LO, and that's it. So I start with the three-day wholesale mortgage, then I go straight into the uh, two-day experience LO, and then depending on what you're looking to learn, you can do the purchase business or the refi or the retail to wholesale. I wouldn't do the processor classes. Uh, one, I'm sure you're not going to be wanting to process, and two, they're not really geared towards the LO, uh, in my opinion. This is just my assessment. It's not what you're going to hear from UWM, but I just want you guys to focus on the essentials. Get to know them. They're not going to teach you how to do loans. They're just going to show you their systems, which is a good benefit for you guys. So um, they're not going to you know, give you a, a LO boot camp where you're going to go there and now you're going to become a 20-year you know, experience LO in three days. It's not going to happen. But it is a good class. So those are some of the resources. Like I said, it's, it's a lot. But if anything um, that I can leave you guys with is this action steps. Please, please do yourself a favor. Follow this action steps if you have not already done so, especially if you're new with EMC. Feel, please follow these action steps. If you have not received them, reach out to L Support and we'll help you. The second resource is that LO support. Don't forget about LO support. We're here to help you guys. About For anything you need, reach out to us, and we'll point you in the right direction. Don't feel lost. Don't feel like you're by yourself somewhere. Action steps, LO support, and then you're good. This is what I, I tell you from the early uh, stages with eMortgage Capital. The rest, you'll learn on, along the way. But with that, um, I want to keep it short and simple today. Just give you some resources that I think are valuable to you. I will open it up some some questions. Um, and if not, I'll let you be on your way uh, to continue with doing your business. Do you guys have any particular questions at this time? No? Great. Well, as always, this recording will be uploaded into the EMC way under the trainings and resources section. I do encourage you guys to take advantage of this resource. All of these sessions are recorded. Every week is different, even though I may cover the same uh, or the same topic. Um, I present the information in different ways based on the amount of questions that we receive throughout the week. So I always make it as relevant as possible. Um, so you're going to go to the ENCWay.com. You're going to go to our trainings and resources section. Once you are there, if it asks you to log in, you're going to use your EMC credentials. And then there, you want to navigate to the action steps as that PDF I mentioned to you. And then if anything, if anything, you want to focus on these two sections, the Onboarding training videos, this is where this video will be uploaded. It's going to replace this one from uh, back in September. And you want to watch all these videos. These are the, This will be like your crash course with eMortgage Capital, these videos. 
where I go through all the items that I uh, presented. The other thing that you want to uh, watch and review is the lending pad video training sessions. This is the lending pad training video sessions. These are the ones that we go through every Thursday. We've uh, recently launched this. So we have a general lending pad overview, which if you've never used lending pad, I encourage you to watch that video. Then right after that, just kind of go through the, each of the videos as they progress. Every week is different. We're doing our, our best to do a topical um, you know, presentation. So feel free to jump in on Thursdays. If you have any uh, lending pad questions, which you will, jump in on Thursdays for that uh, wonderful resource that's available for you. So action steps, videos, lending pad. With that, you should be good. So with that, I thank you guys for your time. Have a wonderful week. Happy uh, holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. And I look forward to hearing from all of you guys uh, soon.